Okay, so this is my most recent sketchbook. A lot of my sketchbook sketchbook videos have been of throwbacks. This one I've started in April, and I, I got a few. I got a few drawings in here. I got a few drawings in here. Yeah. So to start off. This was a character that I first drew in high school, and I redid it. Um. Yeah. So I was just going for a random design of the of the the character. And this was like his little shaman demon person in the background, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> this is just a random drawing I did of some guy. He's kind of in hell, I guess. And he's doing his battle cry. He's very um, upset about something, I guess. This is one of my favorites. It's a design I had done of... I guess would be my version of a shaman person thing deity person thing i guess <laughs> this was just random figure sketches that i did um i was struggling with drawing legs so i did a lot of different leg poses and this one i referenced for just different dynamic poses for characters getting a uh, sense of the human body and how to draw it out this is a, my own design that i came up with my own character and um yeah did little gold bracelets here and he got like a cool little fur um for his legs uh, i saw this picture of this eagle with like gray and white feathers i thought it was pretty dope i used that the design of the wings this is Hulk and um, I drew this from my head he does have kind of a anime vibe to him but um, I like it this is uh, again one of my original characters I did a video on this one so if you go to one of my later videos you'll see me color pink and color that one for this one I was going for a kind of a Dragon Ball Z, um, I guess like a black Super Saiyan, cause you can kind of see his hair is, you know, curly, it goes from uh, light brown to curly. And I guess, you know, because he's black, his hair wouldn't be really that straight, so I went for like a curlier design. Uh, this was me just drawing, you know just trying to be consistent so I was pretty much drawing every day this is a bunch of little doodles I was trying to do my own you know design um, of a bunch of different doodles I've seen a dude named Vex do it I want to try it out here's just more random characters that I drew from the dome, from my head. I'm trying different stuff out. This one I actually really like because he's supposed to be like a telepath. And you can see his aurora is around his body and he's controlling the rocks. It's telekinesis. I like the blue hair. I used a lot of purple for the skin tones. Trying something out, something different. And when I was doing this, another random doodle. Teddy bear gone bad. When I was doing this, I was pretty much just drawing every day and, you know, figuring out what works and what doesn't work. And, you know, if it did work, I would, you know, do it again. So, you know, using the purple for the skin tones. For this one, I was thinking of um, Hunter x Hunter, uh, the, the Ant King dude. This is another random black guy, I guess, turning into Super Saiyan. This one, I didn't really like that much, but okay. Yeah, so I was just, draw, you know, drawing every day, being consistent, trying to be consistent, and um, figuring out what worked and what didn't work, and if it did work for me, you know, I would do it again. As far as the styles and the coloring and just getting used to manipulating colors the way I want, getting the results I want. do they say smart smart practice makes perfect so yeah 
I did a lot of drawings just from my head, just trying to be creative and think of different designs. You know? I think it's really important again to just be consistent. And, you know, there's no way you could draw for a, a year, for instance, consistently and pushing yourself and doing stuff you're uncomfortable with and trying stuff that's new. There's no way that you're not going to get better. So some of these I love, some of these I hate, but overall I, I feel like I learned a lot. This one I really like, the whole goblin look right here. Um, the goblin background. And what I notice is a lot of times I do characters and then I kind of do like a background character. Their own, their own deity or shaman or something like that. So. I thought this one was pretty cool. This one was from a comic book. Or God of Thunder. And I, you know, I didn't only just draw from my head. I did sketches from different references to get a feel of other people's styles and, you know, kind of learn from it too. So this is Green Lantern right here. This is what we got into. I actually did break this down and go through it step by step of, you know, mapping it out, drawing the characters, inking them, um, and then coloring them. So if you want to see a step by step breakdown tutorial for this drawing, just look at my older video I did. In. This is another character design I did right here. You know? And I want to do more dynamic poses instead of characters just kind of standing there yelling <laughs> to do their battle cries. Another Thor drawing. I think this was a God Bomb, Thor God Bomb. This is the final one of Superman's from uh, Injustice. Injustice. But yeah, man, that's just me practicing, getting my, my daily draws in my sketchbook and trying new things, trying new things, exploring. But, uh, that's pretty much it. Overall, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you learned something. Um, but I guess I'll see you in the, the next one.